We're going to talk about some of the biggest changes that came out from the F8 conference and some things that I see happening for advertisers and brands and businesses inside of Facebook coming up here in 2019 and beyond. So let's get into today's video. Hey there, everybody. My name is Brandon Brashears. I'm so glad that you're watching today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's talk about Facebook ads. Before we begin, though, first thing, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. If you have any questions, you need help with anything, be sure to comment below. So Facebook is undergoing tons of changes. They've had so many PR problems. There's been just problems arising with their brand. It's just been really the past two years have been awful. They had the Cam Cambridge Analytica scandal. They've had to testify in front of the Senate. They've had problems with privacy. And as a brand, they're, they're really trying to rebrand and gain trust. Along with that, their, their primary platform, Facebook, is losing popularity among their younger users a lot. Luckily, they have Instagram, they have um, WhatsApp, and they have other means of propping up Facebook and things, but they need to make some serious changes so that they don't become like MySpace. Now, I don't think they're ever going to become like MySpace, but you have to con constantly be evaluating things and fixing things to, you know, get better stability for the platform. So I think that they're making some really good changes. The F8 conference last week that just happened, they went over a few things that they're going to be working on and what they're going to be making the focus of their app and their platform. And I think it's very, very important for us as marketers to be understanding what they're doing and how to use this information to grow our strategies that we're using in Facebook and also in Instagram. So the number one thing that I think was takeaway was that they they talked about ensuring that people feel safe and that their their information is safe with privacy. I see this being, I mean, great for the platform overall, but when they say privacy and, and making sure that you're not being watched and stuff like that, I think that for advertisers, this might mean that we could see the end of pixels and pixel data and retargeting data. I'm not saying that's gonna happen for sure. I mean, it's an amazing tool that we have today. But I think if you are going to believe that, you know, look like audiences and custom upload audiences and all of these things where you can take personal data and put it into Facebook, those tools might not be there forever. So I think that it's important that we use it today and we value it as a gift because it is a tremendous tool that makes our ads so effective. But I think that it's, who knows what could happen with it. And um, so you need to be making sure that you're understanding how to do conversion tracking without pixels if they ever took it away. I don't think that they will, but I think that it's important to understand that. And so, so privacy is a huge component here. The other thing with privacy is that they don't like, right now, they don't like you referencing the target audience that you're using in Facebook ads because they don't want people to feel like they're being targeted, which I, I can understand, but you know, calling out your audience in the headline if you're not even allowed to do that, it makes it kind of hard, right? So you're probably gonna have a lot more limited ad type language that you're able to use. And it's probably gonna get more difficult. Like I just imagine that happening. So I think that that's important to think about too. They also said that they are going to put a very heavy emphasis on Messenger and chat. So with WhatsApp, they are gonna be using what they call intermodal um, communication. And this is amazing. So. Um, for those of you who are using ManyChat or other chatbot builders, this is, I think, fantastic news for you. And I think that chatbots are wonderful tools. They're fantastic to reach and engage with clients. I think that if you don't have chatbot put on your website right now, you should probably get ManyChat put on your website because it's a great way to communicate with your, your clients and your customers. But they said they're going to be going a lot more invested in that as a way to use, you know, have people use the app. And that makes sense. I mean, Facebook Messenger is fantastic. Um, they're, they're going to be integrating WhatsApp. So they have text messaging, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram Messenger. And I think this gives you a lot of exciting potential opportunities here in the future as a marketer to connect and communicate with your clients and customers. So when you're using these different Messenger platforms, especially with your friends and your family, think about you know how can I apply these types of activities and the communication that happens naturally um, between friends, how can we take that and use it in a way that's similar for a brand or a business? So I, th I think that it, it's very similar a lot of times to email marketing. 
except the open rates are typically better. There's a lot more interaction that's possible. But you need to think about Messenger as a way to really reach your clients and your customers at scale, because I think it's gonna get more and more important. And it'd be interesting to see what kind of ad types we have and what we are able to use um, in the future. But I think it's gonna be fantastic from, from a Messenger standpoint. So if you're not growing your Messenger list right now, be sure to get ManyChat, be sure to sign up for that. It's not a sponsored video, but they're a great, great um, free source that you can build your, your subscriber base. There are paid versions too, by the way. All right, so we had privacy, we have Messenger, and then number three, we have groups. I have a group in Facebook, it's called the Veterinary Marketing Nerds. It's for veterinary practices who want to grow their business with digital marketing. Um, I've seen a great amount of growth in that. There's tons of engagement. If you don't have a group for your brand or your business, you may want to consider getting a group. And groups are a lot different from pages in that the community helps to fuel the, the engagement and the chat and things like that. So it takes work moderating, it takes work managing, making sure people aren't being spammy or being jerks. But if you can get groups to work for your brand or your business, it's gonna have a huge payoff, I think. Um, I've been seeing the desktop redesigns that they've put out and groups are featured huge in the top right hand corner. So if you don't have a group, now would be a great time to think about it. What would be something that you could build a community around that would help to support your brand or your business? Think about that. And then once you get people engaged in there and you start to provide value inside of there and you start to get engagement, it starts to grow on its own too. So what really is time consuming is the management and the moderation making sure that everybody's clear on what rules are there and what rules need to be enforced. And as long as you set clear expectations and you get good engagement, you're gonna, I think, have some really good success there. I've seen a tremendous amount of potential business come from there. Um, and so it's been, for me, it's been great. And I know lots of other group um, owners who have groups that have seen tremendous growth from their groups too. I would love to know, do you have a group? Be sure to comment below with your group URL. Look, if you wanna grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here. You don't wanna miss a single video. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.